Here at home now, the Birmingham School Board voted to move forward with an amended budget under a cloud of controversy tonight. The district has to fill the enormous gap left by an unexpected $14 million shortfall, a deficit tied to three major miscalculations. 7 Action News reporter Nana St. Jubonsu has the bottom line and what it means for Birmingham taxpayers. Good evening. Superintendent Roberson tells me the school district is currently working to make up that $14 million shortfall that led to overcharging taxpayers and upset parents. You continue to hide behind the public comment. You put up with us for three minutes at a time and then ignore what we say. A Birmingham Public Schools parent wants answers from the board and superintendent, Dr. Ibika Roberson, about what is happening with the current budget for 2021-2022 school year. And I believe you're only doing it to clean up the mismanagement of over $14 million. $14.3 million is the shortfall in the school's budget. Last June, Dr. Roberson says BPS adopted a 2021-2022 school year budget that estimated $1.58 million shortfall. After she took her new role as superintendent in July, she goes on to say that she immediately began a review of our school operations. Our recent work on the mid-year budget amendment process determined that the shortfall is actually projected to be $14.3 million. What went through my mind um, is uh, a sense of, of frustration. Frustrated at such a large discrepancy in the school budget, some may ask, how did the budget shortfall change from $1.58 million to $14.3 million? On your screen are comparisons shared by the school district. The main discrepancies are in salaries, retirements, and health insurance benefits. Those numbers were underestimated by almost $8 million. The district also so overestimated student enrollment, bringing in $6 million less, which also impacted taxpayers. Next year and the upcoming year, because it was a, there was an overlevering this year due to overprojection of enrollment, their tax bill will be lower next year. Dr. Roberson says the issue has been resolved. They are filling the gaps with about $11.5 million in federal funds and $3.5 million in the district's rainy day fund. Moving forward, we are going through line by line, making sure that we're making adjustments for um, our, uh, you know, uh, our current reality, looking for operational uh, efficiencies, looking at revenue generating ideas, and how we can also utilize grants. She says the plan is to do this while minimizing the impact on students. Teachers hope this is true. Keep Birmingham Public Schools strong, small class sizes, program variety, and skilled teachers. In Birmingham, I'm Nana Sintio Bonsu for 7 Action News.